For many reasons, you may need to find a certain set of orders to take action on, and Ordoro's intuitive searching and filtering Omnibar is a great tool to use to do so. With a combination of options, you can easily check on open drop shipments for a certain supplier, find orders shipped during a specific time range, and so on. So in this tutorial, I'm just going to demonstrate how to use the search and filter Omnibar in the orders tab. So once I'm in the orders tab here, you will see uh, the Omnibar filter for filtering and searching is right here. And you'll see that I'm automatically filtered to the status of awaiting fulfillment. You can also see that I'm looking at orders 1 to 10 of a total of 212 orders in this current filter. Now, in order to modify the status that we're filtered to or apply other filters, we will use any of these filter options here. So in order to change the status, we'll click on the status dropdown, and you'll see all of the other available statuses within your account, as well as the total count of orders within each of those statuses. So you can easily select one of those other options to go take a look at the orders in that status. Among the other filters, you'll also see that you can filter a certain sales channel or set of sales channels, a certain supplier or suppliers, a single or multiple warehouses, a gr certain grouping of tags, and there's also some filtering logic for tags. We will put out another video explaining that in detail. And you'll also see the date range filter, and you'll see that this will change depending on what filter you're in. So I'm in the drop shipment requested right now, so I can filter to the order date or the drop ship date. And then another thing that you're able to do within the Omnibar is actually do a search. So let's say that I wanted to search to orders that are going to Texas from here. I can simply click within the Omnibar, type Texas and hit enter. And you'll see that the text search of Texas is applied and it's filtered it down to orders that have that text within them. I can also quickly remove that text search by uh, just clicking that X box. And you'll see another thing that happens when you search too is that all of your other filters remain. So if I were filtered to a certain, let's say the ship status for orders from this cart, and I were to do that same text to search, you'll see that I'm still in the ship status and looking at the orders from the sales channel, it's just further filtered it to this text search as well. And another interesting thing that you'll see with the filtering and searching is that as you make selections and modify the filter that you're within, it's also um, applying those options to the URL, which means you can easily bookmark this uh, filter if it's one that you need to come back to frequently. And that pretty much covers the filtering and searching within the Omnibar. Um, if you have any questions about it though, please feel free to reach out to us and we will be happy to help. Thanks for watching.